Philippine-American War. The Philippine-American War or the Filipino-American War previously re referred to the Philippines insurrection or the Tagalog insurgency by the United States was an armed conflict between the First Philippine Republic and the United States that lasted from February 4, 1898 to July 2, 1902. What happened in the Philippine-American War? The ensuing Philippine-American War lasted three years and resulted in the death of over 4,200 American and over 20,000 Filipino combatants as many 200,000 Filipino civilians died from violence, famine, and disease that decision by U.S. policymaker to annex the Philippines what was not without domestic controversy. What was one cause of the Philippine-American War? On April 21, 1898, the United States declared war against Spain. The causes of the conflict were many, but the immediate ones were American support of Cobas, ongoing struggle against Spanish rule and the mysterious explosion of the USS Maine, Havana Harbor. Who won in Philippine-American War? After it, its defeat in the Spanish-American War of 1898, Spain caded its long-standing colony of the Philippines to the United States in the Treaty of Paris. The Philippines-American War ended. After Spanish-American War ended in August 1898, that United States from $20 million. San Juan River Bridge The San Juan River Bridge, Filipino tulay ng ilog San Juan. Also known as Pinaglaban Bridge, San Juan del Monte Bridge, San Juan Bridge, and the Old San Tomeso Bridge is a bridge that connects San Juan and Manila spanning the San Juan River. Bridge connect the N. Domingo Street in San Juan and Old San Tomeso Street in Manila. The location of the bridge served as a battlefield during the 1896 Philippines Revolution against the Spaniards and the 1899 Philippines American War. On January 29, 1899, Colonel Luciano San Miguel, Filipino commander, had his first meeting with Colonel John M. Stutzenberg, commander of the first Nebraska volunteers on the on this bridge to discuss the boundaries of the prospective forces. On February 4, 1899, an encounter between the Filipino and American forces led to a shooting incident and sparked the Battle of Manila. On February 5, 2009, the National Historical Commission of the Philippines installed a historical marker of San Juan River Bridge, commemorating its role to the start of the Battle of Manila. Initial Battles of the War Let us know. Battle of Manila, February 4-5, 1899, largest in the first battle of the Philippine-American War. A war between the United States and Filipino Revolutionary from 1899 to 1902. An insurrection that may be seen as a continuation of the Philippine Revolution against Spanish rule. Filipino victories One of the first important American casualties of the war was Major Mokondi, who was killed at Pandacan by Filipinos. On March 25, at Polo, Filipino repulsed the forces of General Wetton and killed Colonel Harry Egbert. On April 23, in Pardal, General Gregorio del Pera routed a U.S. Calvary force under Major Franklin Bell. A prominent American casualty in the battle was Colonel John Stutzenberg, who, who died in action. On December 18, 1899, General Lister and Lister Geronimo and his forces defeated the, defeated the Americans under General Lister in the Battle of San Mateo. General Henry Lowe, who was killed in this battle, was the highest ranking American military officer to die in the armed conflict.
1899, tinalo ni General Liserio Geronimo at ng kanyang mga pursa ang mga Amerikano sa ilalim ni General Lowe. Sa labanan sa San Diego. The Capture of Malalas After the pay- failed plan of Luna to recapture Manila, General MacArthur ordered offensive against the Filipinos in the north and south of the city. The Filipinos courageously resisted the American advance in all fronts but were badly beaten. They were forced to retreat and abandon strategic towns along the, along the Manila to the Cupan Railroad. On March 31, 1899, the American captured Malolos. Aguinaldo had earlier transferred his capital at San Isidro Nueva and Ecija. The Americans thought that, we, that with the fall of the capital of the Republic, the resistance will end. They were wrong because the capture of Malolos only escalated the host- hostilities to the north or north as Filipino fought, furiously as they invaded. The capture of sa north hanggang habang ang mga Pilipino ay galit na galit na lumalapit habang sila ay magtras. Parang umatras po ata dito yung Americano. American offensives, offensives in the north. General MacArthur relentlessly pursued Aguinaldo. Aguinaldo. After resting in Malolos for a few weeks, the Americans marched against Calumpit. The Filipino defenders under General Antonio Luna and General Gregorio del, Bra- del-, del Pilar were in vantage position because the American- Americans had to cross river and wait bricks to approach them. Thus, the Battle of Bag, Bag River was lost and the following day, Calumpit was taken by the Americans. He received his Doctor of Pharmacy degree. He studied, studied
study chemical engineering in Belgium and had to work for several counties in Europe as a chemist. When the revolution broke out in 1896, he was implicated in the plot and deported to Spain. from one position to another until he became Aguinaldo's assistant, assistant secretary of war. He was also a journalist of note. He was, he was the editor of the revolution, revolutionary newspaper, the La, La Independency. The assassination of Antonio Luna. The assassination of Antonio Luna. Among the Filipino generals who served the Republic in its war against the American, no one could approximate General Antonio Luna in military in military science and tactics. In fact, it was his ability that Jose Rizal himself suggests to Pio Valenzuela that Luna be promoted as overall military commander of the revolution. A writer, editor, pharmacist, and a crack shot, he became the commander of the revolutionary force in Central Zone during the height of American offensive on the north. On the afternoon of June 5, 1999, 1899, General Antonio Luna, together with Colonel Francesco Roman, his aide de camp murdered by, Kavi, by Kavit was company guard at the Cabanatuan convent. He received no less than 41 from his assassin. Aguinaldo never ordered the investigation of the punishment of this of his guard. Noong June 5, 1899, pinatay si Antonio Luna ng mga gwardiya ng kawit sa Kabanatuan Convent. And dahil ang ikinamatay ni Antonio Luna dahil sa mga saksak sa, na, na natanggap sa kanyang katawan. Kaya siya namatay. The Drive to the South The Drive to the South In January 1900, the American under... General Theodore Sherwan knife through to the province of Batangas, Laguna in Tayabas. Almost the same period, General Wetton Force attacked Cavite 
with what's brilliantly defended by General Mariano Trias. In Bicol, American force under General William Cobby captured the town of Sorsogon, Don Sol, and Bulan at the Gaspi. The American were met with step resistance by the force of General Jose Paua and Vito Villarmino. In February, Tabaco Albay and Naga Camarinesor were taken. In January 1900, General Theodore Swan ay sinaksak sa lugar ng Batangas, Laguna at Tayabas. At sa araw rin na yun, buong, buong tapang na sinugod ni General Weton at ang kanyang kasamahan, ang Kabiti, which depend by General Mariano Trias. The Visayan Campaign The Visayan Campaign In, in February 1989, the American Military Command sent an American expedition force under General Marcus Myler to take Iloilo. They demanded the surrender of the city, but, but Filipino fighter under Martin de Galdo refused uh, and fought them. Iloilo fell under American hands on February 20, having defeated the Ilo Ilongos. General Myler, Hener, Hener, General Myler sent American and gunboat Cebu to demand its to surrender. On February 22, 18, 1898, Cebu was taken by the American without a fight. Noong February 19, 1899, ipinadala ng American military si General Marcos Myler para makuha ang lugar ng Iloilo pero hindi sumuko ang lugar kaya nagkaroon ng matinding labanan sa panig ni General Marcos Mayer at ni Mar Martin Delgado. So napasakamay ng Amerika ang Iloilo ng Feb 20. Ganon din ang Cebu. Pe February 22, 1898 nap napasakamay ng American ang lugar na iyon na walang nangyaring labanan. The Negros Collaboration The Negros Collaboration A day after the, fa the fall of Cebu to American hand, the American flag was hosted in Negros. The same day, a delegation of prominent neg neg Negrenses went for Manila to offer the American their operation and their maintenance of peace order in the island of island province the people of negros were then allowed to frame their own constitution which they submitted to president mckinley on july 20 the negros constitution although this disapproved us by the president became basis and administ administering tearing the civil affair in negros So ang Negros ay pumunta sa Manila para alukin ang Amerika ng kanilang kooperasyon na bigyan ng katahimikan ang kanilang lugar. So noong time na yun, ang mga tao sa Negros is alaw para gumawa ng sarili nilang ano, batas. Yung, yung batas na yun is pinasa nila kay President Mike Kennedy noong July 20 pero hindi inaprobahan ng presidente ng Amerika. War in Mindanao in Sulu The American War in Mindanao in Sulu The American try another strategy in dealing with the Muslim using di diplomacy. Then sent General John C. Battles to nego negotiate a, a peace agreement with the Sultan in Hulu after ski skillful Neg neg negotiation but it was able to conclude a treaty with the Muslims. The peace treaty with had been called as the Baptist treaty provide that he rights and dignities of the Sultan and his status. 
be fully respected and that the U.S. government agreed to buy monthly salaries of the Sultan and his leader. I'm Micaela Espinueva, Chapter 10, The Filipino-American War. The first topic given to me is Balanhiga Massacre. Balanhiga Massacre, an incident in September 28, 1901 in the town of Balanhiga on Summer Island during the Philippine-American War. It initially referred to the killing of about 48 members of the U.S. 9th Infantry by the townspeople allegedly augmented by guerrilla. This incident was described as the United States Army's worst defeat since the Battle of the Little Bighorn in 1876. Filipinos regard the attacks as one of their bravest acts in the war. So, ayon dito, ang Balanhika Massacre ay nangyari o naganap sa isang barangay sa Samar. Dahil dito, marami ang mga taong nasabi, ngunit na ipanalo ng mga Pilipino ang laban sa katanggalin nilang mga Amerikano. So, the second topic is brutalities during the war. When American soldiers found out that Filipino soldiers as combatants were so determined and stubborn, they resorted to brutal techniques to soften their enemies' will to fight. The task of pacifying the Filipinos proved extremely difficult, thus the American divided from basic rule of civil warfare. For every assault made by Filipino on American troops, wool towns were burned and the women and children oftentimes become part of the punishments upon the men. Torture techniques were varied. The most common was the water cure. In an article in City and State of January 2, 1909, quoting a letter of Private A.F. Myler of the 32 U.S. Volunteers to the Omaha World, this torture technique was described. Now, this is the way we give them the water cure. Lay them on their backs, a man standing on each hand and each foot, then put a round stick in the mouth and pour a pail of water in the mouth and nose. And if they don't give up, pour in another pail, they swell up like folds. The rope cure was described a light but strong rope wrap around the neck and torso of the suspect. A stick was placed between the coals of the rope and was slowly and was slowly twisted. Two American generals who were most notorious for the extreme barbarity they inflicted on Filipino insurgents were General Jacob Smith in Samar and General S. J. Bell in Batangas. The massacre of American soldiers garrisoned at Balanghiga Samar by Filipino guerrillas drew the retributive order from General Smith of the transforming Samar into a howling wilderness. In a letter to President McKinley on July 1902, Elihu Root, the Secretary of War, stated that General Smith have given the orders. I want no prisoners. I wish you to kill and burn. The more kill and burn, the more you please me. And further, he wanted all persons killed who were capable of bearing arms. And in reply to an age limit, designated the limit as 10 years of age. This kill and burn policy emboldened the U.S. troops to burn 100 houses, destroy native boats, and mass slaughter of carabaos. It was claimed that about 50,000 people disappeared in Samar as a result of this military order after the end of the war. General Smith was court martialed and was found guilty but was only admonished by his superiors. In Batangas, where General Franklin Bell was assigned, thousands were thrown into reconcentration camps and many died of torture and illness, not to be outdone by his comrade in arms. General Smith, he proudly reported on September 1901 how he did his task. I take so large a command for the purpose of truly searching each ravine, valley, and mountain peaks for insurgents and for food, expecting to destroy everything I found outside the town. All able-bodied men will be killed or captured. 
the population of Batangas in 1899 before bells arrived was 312,992, but in 1903, only 257,717 people were left. The Filipinos, in some cases, match American brutality. Some buried their prisoner alive, others slope off the ears and no noses of their captives. Many simple hack the Americans on their throat. So, ayon dito, ito ay mga nagpapakisa ng mga kaganapan, ng mga brutal na nangyari during sa war na to sa pagitan ng Pilipino at mga Amerikano. Maraming nasawing Pilipino, ngunit lumalaban pa rin ang mga Pilipino para sa kanilang kalayaan. So, ang pangatlo naman ay ang end of the republic so from the word end dito na natapos ang kanilang pakikipagsapalaran end of the republic the capture of aguinaldo ended the republic but not the resistance in batangas general miguel marbar resorted to guerrilla warfare and uh, continued the struggle in samar general vicente lokban harassed and ambushed american soldier until his capture on the February 27, 1902. Macario Sakai, who had established a Tagalog Republic in the Sierra Madre, continued the resistance until he accepted an American offer on amnesty that led to his subsequent arrest and execution. So, sabi dito, yun nga, dito na, ito na yung parang wakas ng kanilang paglala paglalaban Maraming mga nagpakabayani ngunit na aresto. Pero, meron at meron pa rin mga naglalabas ng kung ano ang totoong nangyari sa digmaang ito. So, ang panghuli ay significance of the Filipino-American War. So, kahit na digmaan ito ay meron pa rin siyang kalagahan. So, Significance of the Filipino-American War The total number of American troops that were used in the war effort was 70,000 officers and men from February to November 1899. The average monthly encounters between Filipinos and Americans was 44, and this rose to an average of over 100 from December 1899 to June 19. And when Filipinos resorted to guerrilla warfare, the monthly average exceeds to 120. During the whole period of the armed conflict, 4,165 Americans and about 16,000 Filipinos were killed and 1,000 were wounded. Those statistics include those who died or sickness caused by the war. Death and, and destruction was treatment juice. It was even reported that hardly any town attacked by the Americans escaped burning. The reconcentration or zonification techniques applied by the Americans military to counter guerrilla activities became the prototype of the became the prototypes of the Hamleting technique employed also by the US in Vietnam War during the seventies. The US Army troops were equally tenacious when faced with the torborn resistance offered by Filipinos. Philippines-American War American soldiers or whites felt the Filipinos were inferior. 70,000 U.S. troops sent to the Philippines when African-American. African-American newspaper believed that being there, African-Americans were helping to spread racial prejudice some African Americans deserted to the Filipino side and developed bonds of friendship with them. War lasted three years, took 20,000 Filipino lives, 4,000 American lives, and cost $400 million. In fact, the army song of the troops under General Arthur MacArthur told about civilizing the Filipino soldier with a crack refill. Dumb, 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 the Filipino. So yun lang, thank you sa pakikinig.